Okay, now let's think about the tangent ratio and think about it in light of what we know now about the unit circle. If we start here and go through some, some rotation along the unit circle, and we're just using as our example this arbitrary number of 63 degrees, we get to this point and we can form a little triangle with sides of 0.891 and 0.454. So think about a tangent of a 63 degree angle and remember how we defined the tangent function. The tangent is always the opposite divided by the adjacent. So in this case, we have a 63 degree angle. So we can say the tangent of 63 degrees is the opposite side, which is 0.891, divided by the adjacent side, which has a length of 0.454. And if we take out the calculator and do that, we get 1.963. And then what we can see is on if we actually pull out a calculator and calculate the tangent of 63 degrees on the calculator, it should say that, 1.963. So pull up the calculator and say tangent of 63. And there it is, 1.96 rounded to we round that to 1.963. So the calculator, of course, gives you the same value. What I want you to see here is that if we manually do this calculation, what we are calculating is y over x. Okay, the y coordinate of this point, or the, the vertical length of that side, over the x coordinate of this point. We're calculating y over x. So what this means is that we can really think about the tangent ratio in three different ways. Using our example of a 63 degree angle, that puts us up here at this point, which we said has coordinates of 0 0.454 and 0 0.891. And we can think of the tangent ratio in three ways. We can think of it as the length of this side divided by the length of that side, because this side is length 0.891 and this side is length 0.454. So it could it could be this length over this length. Or we could think of the tangent ratio as this coordinate over that coordinate, the y over the x. Or we could think of it as this y value here divided by that x value there, because we know those numbers, right? This is 0.891 and this one here is 0.454. So we could think of it as a y, coord a y coordinate over an x coordinate. So three different ways that are all, of course, the same. In all of those cases, the comp computation is the same and the result is the same. Okay, in a quick summary of, of some of the things we've done so far, we've had a right triangle. And if this, if this is angle theta here, and this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side, and we said that the, the tangent of theta is the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side. And then we also drew a unit circle, and I'll just draw a piece of the circle here in the first quadrant. And if we rotate through an angle theta, starting, starting here and going this way, so this is angle theta here. That puts us at some point up here which has x and y coordinates. And we said that the tangent of theta would be y over x. So we have a right triangle definition of the tangent function. And we have a unit circle definition of the tangent function. And if you think about the rotation on the unit circle, taking us to a certain point, drawing this little triangle right here shows us that those two ways of thinking about the tangent function are really equivalent. The right triangle definition of a tangent function is mathematically equivalent to the unit circle definition. Because if we have angle theta here, and we say that the tangent function is the opposite over the adjacent, well, the opposite side here the length of that side is just our y coordinate and the length of the adjacent side is just our x coordinate. So the right triangle definitions and the unit circle definitions are the same.